The most researched supplement in history. Creates in my mind. Uh, I'll say this, this is kind of like a disclaimer thing. This is one of those products that I get, uh, either I get uh, dogged out because I make it too simplistic, or I get dogged out because I make it too complicated. Uh, let me just go ahead and tell you, I'm going to keep it simple because if you are the uh, geek-like character like me, you spend enough time on the internet to do the research. You can also go to southfit.com, click on plant, you know, the creatine, and there's a bunch of the research that I've gathered off the internet and stuck on our own website. So if you want to get really in-depth, that's what you do. I want to hit the highlights, though. Highlights coming up. Uh, it is a naturally occurring compound which is used to supply energy to our muscles. If you, any of you ever took Biology 141 in South Alabama, we covered this. <laughs> it was boring, too. It is produced in the liver, pancreas, and kidneys and is transported to the body's muscles through the bloodstream. Once it reaches the muscles, it is converted into phosphocreatine creatine phosphate. The high powered met metabolite is used to regenerate the muscles, ultimately energy source ATP. When this first came out, I'll give you a little personal story because this is boring the snot out of me. I don't know about you, but I'm getting bored. Uh, this product first came out and the guys, one of the guys that's our distributor for supplements called me up and says, you've, you've got to try this product. Okay, well, well, tell me about it. And he said, you, you remember the ATP, you and creatine? Yeah, I remember, vaguely, I remember that. It makes muscle. Well, basically, we think the way it works is it makes you recover faster so you can work out harder and blah, blah, blah. So I got some. And my strength went through the roof, so much so that I thought it had been spiked with anabolic steroids. I literally accused them. I said, you know, you're gonna, I, was, I was competing in drug-tested events at the time. I said, you're going to make me fail a drug test, and I'm going to, you know, no, no, no. And they said, everybody's calling us with this same news, and we don't really understand it. So there's been a lot of research, most research product ever, creatine monohydrate. We came out with a product, which is a great name. It's called plain old creatine. Why? Because it's just plain old creatine, creatine monohydrate. Now, when it first came out, when it first came out, this amount, this is 1,000 grams of creatine. This would have cost you something like three or $400 when it first came out. EAS was the first company to ever introduce it into the market. Now, we sell 1,000 grams for $39.95. This would last you probably about uh, six months or more. So it's a very inexpensive product. Now, what parents are always going to ask me is side effects. I'm trying to hit the high points. Like I said, I don't have time in this television show to take up the whole show talking about uh, creatine monohydrate. Go to southfit.com, click on Create the Mind, there's a bunch of studies. Go type in clinical documented research in Google or Yahoo and you'll just, you'll be inundated with studies. Lots of guys getting their thesis or doing studies on this that are in the sport. Parents will say, well, what about side effects? Uh, hmm? Hadn't found any. Go try to find a negative study. I went before I started shooting today, I thought there may be something new that's come out since I last did a search for Create. I can't not find. Uh, if there is a negative research, uh, it's very vague and not very well done. The only side effects that we know of is some people can't tolerate it in their stomach and it may give you diarrhea. Uh, people used to say, and football coaches would say, don't take it during football, it'll make you cramp up. I recently got a hold of a well-respected uh, study they doing on college level athletes, football players, and guess what? The guys on creatine monohydrate cramped less than the guys not on creatine monohydrate, double blind study. <laughs> It's also one of the studies, and I don't know why I printed all this stuff because I, I knew I wasn't going to have time to, to go over it. Uh, brain power. A study done by the Royal Society, the published was the Royal Society, authors uh, proceeding, Proceedings of Biological Sciences. Pretty highbrow, you know, this isn't, this isn't Joe Weider <laughs> and Ben got together and said, this is good stuff. This is not that kind of stuff. It's really been researched. Uh, what does it do? Let's get down to what you really, what you should care about. It's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you recover. It's going to give you endurance. Any sport is going to be important. If you are uh, a 40-something year old guy who's trying to keep from losing muscle, here's a scary thought. After 40, most of you that are doing nothing are losing about half a pound of muscle per year. Is that, is that getting anybody's attention? Because it scares me to death. 
because I didn't have much muscle to begin with. I can't afford to lose any, half a pound a year. That's why the midlife spread, the middle age spread. All, a lot of you will go, you know, I'm not eating any different than I did 10 years ago, but I keep gaining weight. The reason you're gaining weight is you're losing muscle. Muscle's active tissue. Muscle burns calories when you're sleeping. You need muscle. You gotta have muscle. Most of you go, I don't want to be a bodybuilder. Yes, you do. If bodybuilding is termed as somebody that's trying to build muscle, everybody out there wants to be a bodybuilder. Grandma, grandpa, all of you need to be bodybuilders. You need to be muscle building because when you get past 40, you're going to start losing that muscle. So the more muscle you can build as you're a young man and young woman and young ladies, when I'm talking about building muscle, I'm not talking about going like that. I'm talking about you know what good looking muscles look like. Now we're doing research with 80 plus, 90 plus year olds who are on walkers and through strength training, they're able to throw the walkers away. Okay, that's substantial. Does creatine monohydrate work? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Does weight training work? Weight training works on everybody. It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't care how old you are. It doesn't care what race you are. It doesn't care about your religious background. Weight training works with everybody, and creatine monohydrate helps the weight training. So I can't say enough about it. Like I said, if you want more information, go to southfit.com and click on the link, and there's a, there's a lot more information. And our brand is one of the most pure brands. It's one of the least expensive. We're not paying for national advertising, so it's not very expensive. And this product can be ordered at southfit.com. I did get that product on the website because it's so important. And if you've never taken it, you need to take it. Don't go anywhere.